Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Nice to see everybody here. Looks like there's a lot of energy, and you guys are really doing some interesting things. The whole competition is about robotics and engineering. It's really about making a difference in the world and, to me, uh, starting new things. Really, there's full call. There's the presentation. We had to come up with a, a presentation that fixed a transportation problem. They ask you like a question, you gotta come up with a solution at the beginning of the year, you gotta present it. 60 cars per minute pass down I-95, that's the explosion. And then there's the technical judging. They help you describe your robot. The judges will ask you about the runs, how, how you plan them and how you plan to program them. And there's a score for your robot design and you get a score for how well your robot does. And then there's the teamwork. And the teamwork was to see how we interact because a large part of this project, this, these missions, is to see how kids can interact with each other. Want to be on your side and then get over it. Why is this all so important? It's people like you who are going to make this future. And you're not only going to need math and science to do it, you're going to have to learn how to work as teams. I think the goal really is to work as a team. I think that's the most important part. We, we kind of had some problems uh, at first, figuring out like how the team was gonna work, how people were gonna decide what, like, what, who's doing what, like how are we gonna decide things as a team. You just have to be patient and stick to your point. And if their point is better than yours, and you just admit it, you don't keep on being persistent with your point. We learned how to uh, do things so that way everybody agreed with it. You have to be a team or else you're, you're just gonna fail. And I thought it was quite easy. I mean, working together is better than working separate. You have more ideas and more help. Okay, uh, 20 minutes to the first judging session. This competition, you're basically going around on this track. And you have to maneuver it through different areas. So you have to go to the start, you have to take your left. But there's lots of hoops. One here, one here, and one here, and one here. The robot takes its arm and goes inside of the loop and picks it up. Just trying to get a hoop. Are you gonna have a little hook that just grabs it like a fish hook? Or are you gonna have a claw that just snatches it? So you have to make decisions. So it's not just building, it's also programming. I'm a robot, program not to know that I'm a robot. I'm a robot, program not to know that I'm a robot. Robot, sometimes that's what you want it to do and sometimes doesn't do what you want it to do. It's like, you have to get very specific with the robot. It's hard to control the robot sometimes. Anything could go wrong. Your placing might be wrong. You might make a mistake. You know, you did everything right, and you followed all the rules and all the steps, but it just went wrong. You might just, your robot might, for some reason, just miss something, or you might miscalculate somehow. The biggest problem we're having is the follow the line with the light sensor. Um, it just acts up randomly, and we have to do stuff to fix that. Right now, we're having little problems with the motion sensor. We found out that the loops are facing a different way than we had them at home, so we kind of had to, we had to program the robot to pick up the loop when it's facing a different way, so it's not going very well. <laughs> Table one, ours is ready. Two, one, Lego on Lego. Three, two, one. What they're trying to do with the robot, they program it to pick up certain things. Depending on what mission you do, and the robot does different things by the way you program it. There are side tasks such as bringing one thing to another spot or knocking over some things. When you come up, you have to turn, and then there's, there's this like little lever. And makes a car go down the hill. And it zooms down and hits your paw. I think that's an extra 25 points. Some things you actually don't want to knock over to win points. Raiders still going on the other side. And you have to land in the correct spots. At least two of your wheels have to um, end in circle for you to get full credit. <laughs> I 
I work in the space department in SEA, which is the systems engineering group. Engineers aren't really the ones that get a lot of glam on TV and in the press, but it's an exciting career and I like it and I like to inspire kids to go into that profession. I am a secure computing researcher within the Applied Information Sciences Department. You have to learn to communicate with other people and work towards a common goal and be on a part of a team. I saw nine to 14 year old kids express how to work in a team better than some adults can express how to work in a team and it was, it was very impressive. I'm an integration and test engineer in the uh, space department. It's great to see girls, you know, getting into it and being excited about it. Currently still, there are more boys interested in it and entering the industry, but, you know, I always push for the girls and it's great to see more of them involved and doing well, so it's a good, good start. I think this is a great starting point. It's a nice way to get into math and science. Once you turn on the robot and you see it actually did something, it's a big sense of accomplishment. I really like finding out what we need and how to get there. It's definitely a lot of fun to create things and build things. I think you have to really be logical and solve problems. And the chance to actually be involved in something that could affect how you do later in life. I'm programming robots, which I've done a little bit of, and I'm also building them, which would help me a lot in engineering. The possibilities are really endless. <laughs> What technology do we have today that my dad didn't have when he was born? What's going to be around at the end of the century? In the future, we'll probably be on the moon. There'll be much more space travel. Hmm, maybe. I don't... Hmm. Faster transportation. Really fast airplanes. <laughs> Hydrogen cars. Have stuff flying instead of cars. I think I want to see flying cars. Personal hovercrafts. Medicines will be better. People will be living longer. And maybe, me, and po really possibly 3D TV. You might have floating TVs. <laughs> Technology doing your homework for you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and most, maybe everything else might change a bit.